The MW3 Season 1 update just came out, but we just got a major leak for even more content releasing very soon. New events, free rewards, some unreleased content, early gameplay of that. We'll break it all down in today's video. Be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Really do appreciate it, guys. Shout out to U4GM if you need help getting MW3 Mastery Camos, Rare Unlocks, and much more. They have a bunch of stuff over there, including Zombie Schematics. Be sure to check them out. Use code MAT for an extra 5% off checkout. Links are down below. First up here in game, we have a bunch of new playlists here. 12v12 is now in MW3. W3 MP. It includes the maps Derail, Grease, the new one, Invasion, Karachi, and Rundown. We, of course, have Meet 24-7, which, by the way, is a W map. Super, super fun. Close quarters. Gunfight is here as well. We have a bunch of maps returning from last year, of course. We have Rust as well, and the new Gunfight Map Training Facility. Those are all of the new playlists for now. We also see that Season 1 ends in 62 days, which brings us to Tuesday, February 6th. Uh, obviously, you know, usually updates release on a Wednesday, so our expected Season 2 release date is going to be Wednesday, February 7th, 2024, which isn't too bad. Pretty standard from what we saw last year. A slightly larger season, but Season 1 of MW2 was around the same length, maybe a bit more. Of course, Season 4 and five of last year were like 30 days super short seasons but this season one here is on par with what we saw last year solid stuff and of course that gives us a season one reloaded update release date of around either wednesday january 3rd or wednesday january 10th we'll see which one they pick but that is the exact middle of season one which makes sense at that point the holiday event will be over we'll move on to the boys event and other reloaded updates coming very soon we'll break that all down in future videos also in game as well we have a new event tab here which you can see teases the Santa's Sleigh Ground event, which begins in 13 days here. Seasons Eatings. Santa Nas is here to spread horror and fear. Complete event challenges to earn rewards. Just try not to get bit. We'll go through some more leaks regarding this event later on in this video. Timestamps are down below. Really solid stuff. And for the Battle Pass as well, of course, if you got the MW3 Vault Edition, you get instant access to the Battle Pass and the entire Black Cell bundle. So be sure to redeem all of your content. I still have to go through my Battle Pass here. I have 25 tokens left over we also see a little preview of the new holiday event as well in the battle pass uh, again in 13 days which looks really cool and a lot of people have been struggling to get access to their battle pass and the black cell upgrade earlier today i wasn't able to access any of this content of course now a couple hours later i have it all here so let me know down below if you're still experiencing issues with the battle pass and or the black cell Again, you should be able to get this here, especially if you got the Vault Edition, but let me know down below. Hopefully, they do fix those issues very soon. And today, we also got our first four MW3 specific bundles here, which we actually talked about that were previewed. They're now in the game. Let's break them all down. First one here is the Painted Auberge Bundle for Byline. This Operator Skin is pretty unique this is the one with the wings right this is a pretty interesting well it's actually preview yes yeah, so here you are with the wings kind of funny there i mean if you want to be hidden this is not the operator for you but it is pretty cool next here we have a cat amr weapon blueprint we have a ram 7 as well okay a cullen card here large decal loading screen pretty mythical and an emblem for 2400 cow points the next one here is yokai's wrath which is only 1500 cow points comes with less content of course but we have this riptide operator skin it does look pretty cool with that devilish look definitely a decent vibe there we have a wsp swarm weapon blueprint a calling card here a weapon sticker and a loading screen okay next one here we have the aries bundle 1800 cow points so a bit in the middle there we have a bbq operator skin pretty cool stuff there a little bit of a red glowing effect on the top okay we have a dg58 lsw weapon blueprint a dg56 weapon blueprint a calling card large decal and an emblem and for the final one here we have a cdl launch pack 2024 bundle which of course includes a bunch of operator skins, the male home operator, the female home operator, we have the male away operator, and the female away operator. All pretty solid looks there. A, a bit different from what we saw last year. Similar, but different enough to where I guess it's kind of worth it if you want to get those new CDL operator skins. We have the let him cook calling card, a beast emblem, goaded weapon charm. That's kind of cool. Uh, another calling card here, the icy emblem. That's sick. Uh, universal camo as well which i love for all these events and even bundles now they're just giving us universal camos now are all these camos super super cool no not really but it still is sick to be able to get a camo you could use on any weapon uh, a 1v1 me large decal and a weapon sticker this is all for 2000 cop points so that's what we have right now 
in this store of course i'll be sure to update you guys on whenever we get new bundles added very soon and we'll break down all of the upcoming bundles even some season one reloaded and season two bundles on the channel very soon so be sure to stay subscribed for that and finally today we got two new monster energy call of duty promotional items here so if you guys already got a bunch of monster energy cans go to the link down below in the description it's the call of duty monster energy official website and you should see the rewards pop up it's the mark of the beast a uh, little emblem there i guess or a decal but also the new beast up operator skin as well this is reward number five and reward number six so you only have to buy a couple of cans to get it and if you already bought the cans previously like i did here as you're seeing up on screen all you have to do is click on the rewards take that code redeem it on call of redeem make sure it's on your you know activision account that you use of course and then go into game and it should be there so pretty simple stuff there let me know down below if you have any questions on that and i'll be sure to update you guys on any more promotional events happening with mw3 very soon but now for a bunch of leaks here for just so many pieces of content especially some weapon blueprints and cosmetics here there's a lot of stuff happening so first up here we have early gameplay of an insanely cool weapon camo this super animated camo which we don't know what it's for if it's for a new event if it's for a bundle if it's a final ranked play reward is it some type of mastery reward we just don't know here is it a mastercraft weapon could be uh, this could be the base version this could be the max version but we have multiple colors here we have purple we have blue uh, I, actually it's just it might just be purple and blue actually i don't want to go too crazy here but it, it looks pretty crazy so let me know down below if this is a bundle are you down to buy this if we get more information on this you know leave comments down below but it is pretty cool next here though we do have confirmation because raven software gave us this video it's the season one warzone nuke rewards so if you get that nuke contract just like we saw in mw2 last year you get that all completed in urzikstan this time around for season one you're getting this pretty sick operator skin it's a difficult task to complete you have to get five warzone wins in a row and then do the nuke contract and then if you complete all that successfully you'll get this operator skin so a solid reward there it's difficult you can't buy it let me know down below if you're going to be going for that and honestly if you guys are some warzone demons let me know if you want to carry me to get this operator skin that would be so so sick and for some more leaks here of course warzone and mw3 ranked play doesn't release until season one reloaded but we have some early stuff here regarding a bunch of the rewards we're gonna be able to get for ranked play we have warzone ranked season one top 250 gold diamond platinum emblems we have the first one here gold and then diamond platinum cool stuff there we also got some new leaks here at a bunch of the cdl team operator packs here optic texas uh, atlanta phase i'll put a bunch of them up on screen these should be available very soon now the league actually starts in a couple of days ranked play doesn't come out till the reloaded update so they might wait for the ranked play update anyway but technically it should release right now since the teams are officially playing very soon we'll see when these officially come out i'll be sure to update you guys on that just got a new look here at a bunch of the calling cards releasing for top 250 a bunch of the new cdl teams cool stuff there a ton of new weapon blueprints also leaked out for these cdl team packs we have optic texas a cool green look atlanta phase we have the uh, la gorillas seattle surge here we have the los angeles thieves the miami heretics these blueprints actually look pretty solid let me know down below which one you might be picking up here we also got some early gameplay here of this new gold camo which might be for a ranked play reward either you know for a multiplayer or war zone we don't know for sure low quality video here but still looks pretty cool and now moving past the cdl stuff here we have some more cosmetics releasing apparently new mw3 season one twitch drops are now live these are you know not my style just some cosmetics here but uh, again be sure to go to you know your favorite call of duty twitch streamer most likely they will have twitch drops enabled and you'll be able to get those rewards if you have your activision account connected to your twitch account now for a bunch of weapon blueprints that got leaked out here this first one is the comic carbine weapon blueprint in a game this one was actually shown and previewed in the first mw3 multiplayer trailer this one again is most likely a part of a bundle a lot of these are going to be a part of bundles that we did talk about some are going to be for events here i just want to run through a bunch of these images and some early looks at these blueprints because they're pretty cool we have the mirrors weapon blueprint in mw3 a super cool 
blue crystal look here we have the geode weapon blueprint almost like a dark matter vibe solid stuff there we have the jaded weapon blueprint that's really really cool super clean green camo we have the neon weapon blueprint we talked about this in a previous video pretty solid we have the calcite weapon blueprint that looks really cool another dark ether-esque camo we have the fossilized weapon blueprint interesting stuff there we have the sweet siren mastercraft weapon blueprint in this game we can't really see the full mastercraft effects but uh, of course it comes with those kawaii tracers and a uh, dismemberment effect that we talked about again in my previous bundle video interesting stuff there for some more upcoming weapon blueprints here we have a new magma camo slash weapon blueprint this probably will be for another mini in-game event like an xp progression event kind of like the cotton endowment true legends event or the macro event we'll see very soon another weapon blueprint or camo here it's a sand dunes camo this could be for the dune bundle pack releasing or just another you know random xp progression event let me know down below it's not a crazy camo but it still is decent next up here we have a really sick operator releasing very soon the underworld Hades ultra skin this guy looks insane a mixture of a dark ether skin and a Greek god or Greek warrior right we have a look at what we're getting in this bundle so so cool here definitely a solid one again if you're gonna spend money on a bundle this one probably is one that you would want to go for so let me know down below your opinions on that and for some more bundles releasing very soon we have trace pack dark rituals for Pharaoh's choice polyhedral proton powered quadric flow Robo Scale, Royal Flush, Blitzed, Bunny Bomb Bomb, Corvus, Electron Energy, Iridescence, Moto Freak Pro Pack, Saddle Up, Tracer Pack Supernova, Tracer Pack Insert Coin, Mastercraft, Underworld, Hades Ultra Skin, as we talked about, Unholy Templar, Void Weaver, GG Easy Weapon Vault, X Ray Tube, a lot of stuff there that will break down in future videos because there's just so much cosmetics and bundles releasing so we got to talk about that but for some more stuff here for upcoming mw3 events this one here i gotta start off with because it's insane a new king kong finishing move in mw3 which pretty much teases the king kong event returning apparently there's a new movie releasing at some point next year and they're gonna do another event in mw3 and warzone to coincide with the movie which is insane now will they do what they did last year with king kong godzilla in Warzone, where they weren't actually like fighting, but you kind of semi fought them, I guess. It wasn't as grand as we thought it would be, but I still thought it was a solid event overall. It was different, it was interesting. So we'll see what they do again this year, but still cool to see that returning. We have an early look here at one of the boys' weapon blueprints, the rewards we're getting for that event. Coming for Season 1 Reloaded looks pretty cool. I did a whole video going through all the challenges you have to do for that event and a bunch of event details, which I'll link down below in the description. We'll break that down more in future videos as well, though, but... For some more early gameplay here, we have Santa's Little Helper finishing move. Apparently a finishing move we saw back in Vanguard during one of those holiday bundles. I, I guess, let me know down below if you remember that, but a solid little finishing move here. Pretty cool. We also have some early gameplay that a bunch of YouTubers actually recorded. This one is from Phase Scope of Holiday High Rise. Again, that's releasing when that event starts in around 13, 14 days from now. Which again, High Rise looks pretty solid. It will have its own special playlist here. We have a lot of decorations, holiday lights, a little bit of snow around the map as well. It is a pretty solid map here. Again, is it as crazy as Winter Crash was back from COD 4 and Modern Warfare Remastered? Or they, you know that custom zombie map I talked about, Christmas? rust no those would have been insane to have in this game but it still is cool to see a little bit of a christmas theme on an og mw2 map and of course we're also getting the mw2 version of a ship miss which is going to be also pretty cool which i thought was fire i don't mind that being carried forward whatsoever so we'll all get that in about two weeks now for some leaks here on that cod miss event releasing we know we're getting a bunch of challenges for warzone multiplayer and zombies we know we're getting holiday infected some stuff like that but let's go through more content here so strings relating to warzone and the cod miss event later this month so secure trees to earn loot secure a tree to tier three to create a portal to santa's black site the guests will eventually follow the runaway train hijacked by zombie santa last team stancing wins okay so really really interesting here i mean again the tree one we kind of talked about we saw back in vanguard now there wasn't a portal back then to go to santa's black site we'll see what that looks like if it's a crazy poi or if it's just a you know very you know slightly altered black site on urzikstan you know we'll see very soon the runaway train is also super interesting as well that must be some other type of ltm we're seeing in this game pretty interesting there's also strings related to a wars and resurgence christmas playlist 
playlist called Slay Ride Resurgence, which, you know, should be the same mode, but the Resurgence version, right? But, you know, again, we'll see very soon what that ends up looking like. There's also new info on the upcoming Snow Fight LTM for MW3. Take on the opposing team in a deadly snowball fight. If you see snowballs lying around the ground or on a wall, interact with them to restock. Golden snowballs are a guaranteed one-hit kill. Only one spawns in the center of the map per round, so you need to be quick. Really, really cool mode there. That sounds like a ton of fun. Next here, though, we have a new in-match event coming to Warzone for the Cosmos event, Deer Hunt, and Hunt and Loot Zombie Reindeer as well. So that's within Warzone, within the new LTM. You're going to have new events to complete in that map in a match. Deer Hunt, Hunt and Loot a Zombie Reindeer. I guess you're just finding deer around the map. They're running around. You have to kill them. That's going to be super, super interesting to see what that's like. And for some more information as well, in Warzone, we have a base crate, a legendary crate, an ultra crate, a Rudolph crate, Santa crate, Zombie Rudolph was killed, Krampus Easter egg found. There is just so much happening in this holiday event. A lot of separate mini events, it seems like, in Warzone and the holiday MW3 playlist. We'll break that all down when it comes out, but a cool early preview here of the content we're getting and an early look as well at that santa Nas operator which again he looks pretty pretty solid now even more leaks to break down here the first warzone combat pack for playstation of course is called arseniste it should arrive very soon if it's not already in the game let me know down below when that's going to be added there i'm not on playstation but still pretty solid stuff one in the chamber is also returning to mw3 mp very soon which is pretty cool again uh, of course we talked about the first mw3 pro pack moto freak shift into overdrive with the moto freak pro pack this bundle brings insane value with 2400 cop points and more so again you spend 20 dollars, but you get 2400 cop points back plus some operator skins weapon blueprints and other cosmetics and finally here if you look at a bunch of weapons there's multiple attachments on new guns with no unlock level and no armory unlocks there so they're pretty much unattainable right now so we don't know if these are for future weapons where the attachments are just not available maybe these are glitched out as well and you should be able to get them you know we'll see very soon but overall that's it here for this video we'll be breaking down a bunch of more leaks and content in future videos so be sure to stay tuned for all that content subscribe for more videos like this shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys